What's up? It's Levin Chuck. This is going to be a workout edition. I'm going to go through some of the workouts I do during the week. <sighs> Full time job and dad life. I don't get to work out every day like I would like to, but I do get to work out, you know, a couple times a week sometimes. Sometimes four, five times a week. It really just depends on the week. I really never know, honestly. Just like today, I got an opportunity. I'm like, let's hit it. So, I want to show you guys a couple of things I do. This is not an impressive gym by all means, which also goes to show that the average Joe can acquire most of this stuff and uh, do some of this yourself. So, try to stay motivated. That is the hardest thing about exercising. And tell by looking at my gut, if the old military may looked at me right now, he would be disgraced. But uh, if you're going to be fat, at least be sort of in shape. You know what I mean? So, all right. So first off, I like to start off with some stretches. Pull up tower here. This thing allows me to stretch my shoulders, my back, my arms, all this good stuff pretty well. So, good stretch. Always stretch. Before you jump into it and even where you do dips here I stretch my back as you can tell today I'm going to do more so upper body and then I always like to just see where I'm at on my pull-ups because I don't know growing up that was always a however many pull-ups whoever could do the most pull-ups you were the most man so <sighs> Like I said, my current shape, not very impressive, but uh, I still do it. Pull-ups. One thing I'm gonna say, one thing I've learned over time. Yes, you know, chin over the bar, all that good stuff. Big thing is, is pulling your arm at least 90, 90 degrees or a little better. So, if you can't get that full pull up, at least try to pull past that 90 degrees, keep your chest, arms, all that good stuff's working. So, that's the first thing I do. All right, all I got is 40s and an annoying dog. But, uh, these are the biggest dumbbells I got, so that's what he is. 20 reps. I like dumbbells on bench because you can really kind of go below your chest. And that way, I forgot what number I'm on. We'll call that. We'll call that eight. But you can really get the full motion out of uh, the dumbbells. You guys are starting to wear me out. Next, dips. Full body dips. Now, Pull-ups and this, I forgot to mention, start off cheating if you can't do them completely. Right now, my dog, right now I'm on like, I only do five dips. I do as many pull-ups as I can, but dips. So, now when you're doing full body dips, see if you can see me, you do want that full 90 degrees in your arms. So, let's try to do five of them. Whew. 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 Okay. Barely got five of them, but full body, 90 degrees. It's a big thing to remember. If you can't do one, start out like on 
like on the edge of your couch. Just put your feet out. You got to start somewhere. So if you got to do that, that's what you got to do, right? Remember, it's it's better to do something like that than to not do anything at all. So start to get a little interesting. I'm already starting to get wore out here. And uh, anywho, now, just to throw this in, even on arm day, when I'm not getting to go run, I kind of look at this as my cardio. But uh, I'm going to knock out 20 box jumps with 20, I think it's 26 pounds of armor. Now, those of you armor specialists out there, don't knock me for this. And yes, I got my tourniquet on a rubber band. I keep it sealed because I'm a civilian now. And you know, in the military, you could prep it, prep your tourniquet, put it wherever, extra tourniquet. If it started to look damaged, shredded, whatever, you could then go get you another one. No big deal. But since I'm a civilian, I keep it sealed because these things are $25 to $30 a pop. So let's do some box jumps. Do the armor for a little added resistance. I got my box here. It's on its lowest setting. It's come from Academy. So whew, do 20 of these big boys. Hopefully without the dog tripping me. Hopefully. And hey, quick tip, if you can't do a box jump, there's no shame in doing that. Just alternate. So you work both legs even. You can always work yourself up. If you got bad knees, I definitely recommend you just stepping. So, but anywho. Do what you can. And yes, I work out in combat crocs. Okay, so the box jumps, let you know ahead of time. We're pretty tired. We ain't here. We can be tired when we're dead, right? So, um, uh, if you want to continue on, you want to do some good Rambo stuff, keep the armor on, and uh, do increments of however many push-ups you can do in between. And uh, I like doing it like this, because this armor, when I'm doing it on the ground, it really restricts my movement as far as how, how far down I can go. So, always. Do what you can with what you got. Always remember after a good workout, when your arms are dead and you're angry because your arms are dead, remember always have something to punch. It really helps relieve stress. Really good for you. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the boring workout segment. As always, always be prepared for a fight. Pray you never get into one. And uh, subscribers, please subscribe. Please, please like. I think I deserved it. Um, thank you guys very much. And uh, God bless you guys. I hope you have a good one. See you next time.